Hey there everyone, Hitesh here, back again with another video. And in today's video, I want to touch upon a sensitive subject about uh, the programming careers or very first jobs in the programming. So which one is more important, certification or portfolio? We're gonna discuss this in this video, so let's get started in here. In this channel, we talk about programming, coding, web apps, mobile apps, and pretty much everything related to technology. So in case you are new here, consider subscribing. Now, I get this question quite a lot, and especially with the people who are just about to get passed out from their college, or maybe the campus placement, or things like that, you, you got the point. So which one is more important, uh, doing the certification or building up a portfolio? Now again, uh, it depends and I do have a choice in here. It's not like both of them are good or equally important or equal there. I personally prefer the portfolio guys there. But I'll tell you the reason why it's more important and you will understand and you will, uh, perhaps you will agree with me in the end of the video. So let's get started with that. Now, I would say not all the certification, but yes, most of the certification are not the true certification exams. Uh, they are something which, in which you have to pay heavy amount of money, skills are not that much required, and you can just grab the certification. Now, I'm not gonna name any of those certificates, but I still uh, know a lot of certificates for which you can just pay out and can just grab the certification. An amount of knowledge that is, should be delivered or should be with a potential student is not at all adequate there. On the other hand, if I talk about the portfolio, that is actually a kind of a living proof there which says and shout outs quite a lot that, hey, this guy is something there. And I'll talk about two things which are very popular uh, nowadays is uh, the pen testers or known as the ethical hackers and also the web developers or app developers. Now, let's just say for a moment, let's just try to assume that you are uh, HR guy of, from a company. Now, who are you going to prefer to uh, take into your company? A guy who is having, uh, let's just say 30, yes, I'm saying 3-0, 30 Android certification or just five app in the Android store? Which one? You, you got the choice. Obviously, you're gonna pick up the guy who is having five apps in the Android store. So obviously, the choice is pretty simple for you. Now, for the pen tester guys, uh, who is going? Who are you going to adopt into your company as a junior penetration tester? The guy who is having certification or the guy who has written some code in the Python that is a little bit popular and have got, uh, let's just say, five or six bug bounties there. Obviously, your choice would be to hire that guy who is having a couple of bounties and have created a couple of scripts which are adequately popular there. Not the guy who is having good branded certification and has invested like 40,000 or 50,000 in that certification. I'm not saying the certifications are bad, but obviously if you have a money and you can afford to give those exams and can qualify for those certification. Obviously, it's a good idea, it's a good resume builder, but I would say it's not completely required. Especially that same things goes on for a web development, for app development, or maybe for pen testing, or any domain in which you are going. So I'm not saying that don't go for the certification, for sure you can go for the knowledge, but I would say building a portfolio is much more important and much more useful because let's just say some company has arrived into your college and you are showing them all the resumes there. But uh, on the other hand, this person is saying, hey, I have got five apps on the App Store or Android Store and here are the links and check them out and this is my portfolio, that's it. I have no certification, but I have got results out there. Similarly, if you are hiring a web developer and who is saying, hey, I have a certification in WordPress, I have a certification in CSS, I have a certification in JavaScript, while the other person is saying, I have an experience of building 20 websites and here are the links of all the websites. Check out yourself and then judge me. Obviously, that is gonna be more important. So all I'm saying is that try to go into the project-based learning, which you can go with any book, any online course or offline course, and just try to create a lot of results. Also, when you create those results, make sure you save those results somewhere. And in one of the previous video, I talked about the GitHub or the Bitbucket. Uh, although they are used uh, generally for the version controlling of the app and uh, the web or whatever you are building up, 
but obviously you can use them as simply your portfolio websites as well. So you can push up your code uh, onto those websites and it, it would be quite good there. But I would be saying that in my point of view, if I have to judge a person, I would surely be judging a person based on what kind of project he has done in the past instead of saying that, hey, he has got certificates and that's it. So my advice to all of the beginners who are getting started in programming or maybe app development or maybe in pen testing, whatever domain you have chosen, it's good that you have chosen now and it's best of luck in that case. But again, uh, don't go for those expensive certificates yet. Uh, try to build a portfolio first of all. Then obviously, if you can afford, go for the certificates. Or usually I've seen that uh, when you join up in the company and if you want to do certificates, uh, companies actually do give you a lot of money to perform or to go through with that certificates and even for the trainings as well. So there are policies in the companies for that. So my advice would be, go for the portfolio for the very first and then later on if you wish you can go out for the certification as well so with this i would say if you have uh, liked the content on this video go ahead give it a thumbs up in case you think that somebody can get a benefit from this video go ahead and share it on the social websites